Hey guys, welcome back to Study Club. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your own organization system for school or uni. Before I get into this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned till the end of the video for an exciting giveaway. So at the start of a new school year, the first thing I like to do is open up a notebook and write out every single subject that I'm taking for that year. Once you've done that, you'll want to allocate a colour to each subject and this just makes it easier to identify which folders and books belong together within a subject. It doesn't really matter what colours you use as long as you're able to easily distinguish them from one another, so you wouldn't want two similar shades of green or two similar shades of pink. And then after that, it's time to determine the supplies you'll need, so in terms of the binders and books that you'll need to buy. Personally, the system that I found works best for me is having three different sets of books and files. So I have a binder, a notebook, as well as a display folder, which I'll break down what each one's good for. So the first thing I have for each subject is a two inch binder. This is my primary storage of notes where I organize and file all of my worksheets and class notes that I've written once I've finished a topic. The next thing we have is a notebook, which is what I take to class to write all of my most relevant class notes in. The one I preferably use is from Muji and it contains loose leaf paper in it. And that's just because it makes it easy to transfer the notes from the notebook to the binder later on. The last thing I use is some type of folder. I like to use a display folder just because I think it's a neater and more organized way to view your notes. In the folder, I like to keep worksheets and homework that I get from class or basically just things that can't be hole punched. As an example, I'm now just going to be walking through my chemistry organization system. However, for the most part, each subject has the same system. The first item I have is this binder notebook from Muji. It has 30 rings in it and it opens and closes like that so you can insert loose leaf paper and dividers as well as plastic sleeves. As I'm showing you here, I've put a periodic table at the front just to make it easy to refer to and for other subjects this might be a formula sheet like for math or for English it could be a techniques list. And then inside the folder I have these brown cardboard dividers from Muji and I just use that to separate the SL and HL content that we're working on at the moment. The notes that I keep in this notebook are just class notes from the topic that we're working on. You can purchase these notes from my website study-collab.com. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. And then at the back of the folder, I always have blank paper just in case I need to add any notes or do any exercises. And then behind that is also plastic sleeves with any relevant worksheets or handouts. I also like to attach some sticky notes to the back of my notebook. As you can see here, I've just done it with blue tack. I use these sticky notes all the time to write class notes or to write any important information. So like good websites or YouTubers to watch for that certain subject. The next part of my organization system is to have a folder. So I like to use a 20 sheet display folder like I'm showing you here. And in there, I just keep any stapled handouts or homework as well as past papers if we're working on them in class at the moment. So what I tend to do is once this folder gets full, I'll empty it and then hole punch all the files and put it in my big binder. The notebook and folder that I just mentioned is what I take to every single class. And this is just a lot more portable and easier than carrying a huge binder where you might not need all the notes every single lesson. So then I have a two inch binder, which I'm showing you now. And this is what I keep at home and store all of my notes that I've accumulated over the past two years of the course. I like to keep a syllabus outline on the front page and this just makes it easy to identify the topics that you need to review later on. A tip I have for you is if you're finished the course and you're up to revising in class then you can just take out the notes you want to work through that lesson and put those in your notebook. But basically once my notebook gets full or we finish a topic in class then I'll take out the notes and put them in my binder like so. Then my notebook is empty for the next topic. Try and do this straight away after you finish a topic because then that way you're more inclined to stay organized and file your sheets correctly. Finally, at the back of my binder, I just keep these Think IB worksheets and these are really great because they're questions by topic. So if I'm struggling with a particular topic, then I know where to search to do more practice questions. You'll notice that as you near the end of your course, the binder does get pretty fat, so you won't want to carry all of this to school. So this system ensures that you only have to take the notes that you need to to class. On the side of my binder, I've printed out a IB chemistry revision tracker, which I made on Excel. I made this closer to my final exams just to ensure that I was staying on top of everything and I'd sufficiently covered all of the material. 
So what I did was I checked off things once I'd completed summary notes and done topic based questions. And then I set up this confidence level system where once I'd finished a topic, I would rate it either pink, blue or yellow. So pink meant that I needed to review the actual content as soon as possible because I either didn't understand everything or I still had questions. Yellow meant that I was fine with the topic and confident in approaching any questions. And blue just meant that it would be good to do a few more questions just to consolidate my knowledge. And this was a really great way to organize your revision because it shows you what you need to prioritize and study first before your final exams. As I mentioned earlier, the organization system was relatively the same for each subject, just with slight variations. So as I'm showing you here for math, I bulldog clicked the syllabus to the side of the binder, but otherwise everything else remained the same. I just had a bit more dividers for maths. And this is what my folders look like stored upright. And now to get you guys encouraged to start your own organization system, I have a little giveaway, which I'm going to give you all the supplies you need to start your own organization system for a subject. The first thing I have is this two inch binder, which is really similar to the one I have. It has the little clip. You're also gonna get this 20 sheet display folder and you'll notice that all the supplies are blue and this is just so it's easy to coordinate your notes for this subject. The next item is this binder notebook. This one's really similar to the Muji one I have, except it's just a different brand. But as you can see here, it comes with 30 plastic sleeves, which you can just put any worksheets in. And then I've also gotten you this pack of grid paper, which fits within this notebook binder. The next two items are these dividers, which I like to use in the binder. And I've also given you a 120 page notebook, just if you prefer that over the notebook binder. There is also this A4 document wallet, which you can just put any loose papers you have in there. And then you'll also get these label stickers, which I put on the front of my folders or on the spine of my books, just to label the subject and my name. A great tip is if you have a display folder like this with this little pocket on the side, you can just invert the label and then write your name on that. There are also these page flags which you can use to section off each subtopic. And then the last item is one of my favorite stationary items, which are these pastel Stabilo highlighters. So there'll be a few things you have to do to enter this giveaway. The first thing is to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notifications. And then you have to like this video and leave a comment down below about how these supplies might help you in your school or uni life. And then check out my website, study-collab.com and subscribe to the newsletter down at the bottom, as I'm showing you here. You just have to enter your email and press subscribe. And the last thing you have to do is follow our Instagram study collab and like our Facebook page, which will all be linked in the description below. For a greater chance to win this giveaway, you can also repost this picture that I'll be posting on Instagram and tag us in it. This giveaway will run till the 18th of February and the winner will be announced on Instagram. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.